I was used to a traditional kind of lecture style of conveying education in sort of a one-way direction to students. But as soon as I learned about the features of the classroom and then got to see them for myself, uh, I immediately started to think creatively about how to take the focus off of me as the instructor and reposition it and refocus it on the students as active learners. Once you teach in a place like this, it gives you a real perspective on the degree to which uh, space and materials and sort of infrastructure matters in the classroom and just the degree to which um, I was able to really flex my muscles and be creative and try really different things. Um, it gave me a more sort of rich palette to work from uh, to give students different types of experiences. What I love most about these interactive classrooms is the social aspect. Um, I get to talk to my peers, I get to have immediate feedback from the professor and it's a lot of fun. As soon as I walked in, I was specifically looking for acoustics. I was looking for the ability that students would have to be face-to-face. -face. I was looking at the technology of connectivity to external resources. And this is the ideal environment. This is the yardstick that I'll be using to judge all other environments. So being in Ellis 319 really, I think, opened their minds um, to what tutorials are all about. This is where the discussion really happens on a one-on-one -on -one basis as well as in a smaller group basis. And adding the group work that we did within this room, that was enabled by this room actually, really added a whole other level to their learning. There are a number of things in this classroom which make it ideal for teaching. I mean, the first thing is the whiteboards around the, all the surfaces of the wall. But the other thing that's important is the minimalism of the classroom. So I like it because it's just a flat space. And while that might seem austere, it actually allows for lots of creative potential. I think this kind of classroom is really important if Queen's wants to maintain its reputation as a leader in teaching. The classroom really enhanced my learning by allowing me to participate and engage more in classroom discussions. This classroom setup allows a, more of a learning flow to make sure that everybody's on the same track, on the same page, and any questions we have can get settled right away. It makes learning fun. So cliche, but it's true. <laughs> I have to say that as an educational developer, this space is probably the single most effective initiative for teaching and learning and, and helping faculty members make changes in their teaching than any other program. And I think as a result, the student experience, the student engagement is that much more than one can get in a traditional classroom.